Hey. Oh, it's not even on me. <laughs> it's on you now. Oh. Oh, my hand. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, yeah. Did you want me to reflat it? Please. Oh, do you want me to do it now or later? You can do it. Okay. Hey. Oh, that would be cute thumbnail. Oh, wow. She dropped the crackers. Is there anything, Molly, you want to say? Um, I'm too hot. I feel like I'm melting. Um, and I can still taste the grass in my mouth because. They put grass in my mouth, so <laughs> yeah. very nice people. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm very excited now to make a cake. Yeah. Is there anything you want to say, Katie? My arm still hurts from when Molly slapped me. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, and I'm just the perfect temperature, you know. I not only too hot, not too cold. I only slapped her because she put grass in my mouth. But I, yeah, that's not going to be super relationship. Me once and then slap me the second time. I'm really sorry, but I'm too hot. There's violence in this friendship. <laughs> <laughs> Sophie, do you have anything to say? I think it's a little bit too hot, but not that bad. And I'm basically fine, apart from Molly put grass in my hair as well. <laughs> Cute. Yeah. It's meant to be liquid. It's not supposed to be. This is going to be an uneven cake. Oh, I want to make it as liquid. Why is it like that? <laughs> <laughs> it's so thick. <laughs> So I've got the best page, this is a sneaky preview. Um, I'm just gonna show you, yeah. So I've got Rudy Pankow, Drew Starkey, Owen, oh my gosh, Owen with the non-existent last name, Andy Sandberg, but Jake Peralta. Andy Sandberg is fit, but like, he's a bit old. He's 45, same age as my dad. Um, <laughs> Jake Malordi, Leonardo DiCaprio, and then those two. Who are mine? <laughs> yeah, those are these, but. Mm. Bad spreading skills on YouTube. Do that, it's not even that bad. Oh, 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 you oh, 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 you saved it. Oh, 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 should we spread this? Yeah. Oh, oh, oh that's really the middle? Oh. That's the middle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I didn't know why I said that's the middle. He's way taller than him. This? Right, this guy's yeah. guy. Oh, tush. Tush. <laughs> tush. Tush. Oh no, he, needs, he deserves a front. <clears throat> oh my god. Okay, he does. He does. The thing is, we can't oh, like cover it. anyone else. It's so like hard. Yeah. Just like stick him in like. Jacob Lordy, I'm sorry, but he's going there. Oh, you just keep it. sinking. That actually looks like a Pinterest girlies. Hello. Oh my gosh! Oh wait. And then what oh, about these? That's so good. Oh, I don't want to cover them up. Well, you could cut them a bit. Oh no, he's going somewhere. Can I? Oh. You can't even see him. He's, oh, he's there. Oh, he's that's there. That's good. Hi, I'm Casey. I've got Chad Murphy, Mac LeBlanc, Tom Blythe, Conrad, um, Drew Starkey. Rudy Pankow and Leonardo DiCaprio. Hi, I'm Sophie and I brought Keegan Allen, Louis Partridge, Alex, 
Peter Kavinsky, Dr Dawkins, Jeremiah and Nate Archibald. I'm Molly and I brought Dylan O'Brien, Zac Efron, Timothy Chalamet, um, Joseph Gordon-Levitt, um, Jake Peralta, um, Tom Holland, Owen from Race Across the World um, and Jacob Elordi. So I'm actually just doing some college work. I'm stressed, I'm stressed, I'm stressed. Today, I thought I was gonna have like time and everything to do, the stuff I wanted to do. And then I get called by my mum and she's like, have you seen my message? And I'm like, what message? I've just woken up, but I hadn't, I'd woke up and I'd read. Um, so I went and I looked at it and it's basically like, there's a corner shop near us and we kind of know the owner. And he's like, oh, can you come down today, like this morning? And bear in mind, it's like 11 a.m. It's about 11.30 by the time I get there. And then I'm like, there, and I'm like doing some work, whatever. And I come back home and I'm like, oh, I've got to eat my lunch. I've got to look at a cake recipe. I've got to get ideas for the artwork that I need to do. And there's like tasks that I have to do. There's five tasks and they're supposed to take two hours each. So that's 10 hours and I've got two weeks to do it. So I've got to do five hours a week. And it's like my piano lesson was moved earlier because then I need to go and help like close the shop. And then I also need to like run back for dinner or something. Then I need to go to like an event that they're having and like observe and stuff. And I'm like, ah, stressed. But anyway, I'm gonna show you what I'm doing. So basically I'm doing this little key thing. It's like the themes, these are the themes inside or outside. That's the first theme. Number two, travel places. Number three, doors and windows. Number four, possessions, childhood memories. And number five, colour and nature. So this is kind of like, I searched up inside, like drawing ideas and stuff like that. So this is kind of like outside, because this is like a little woods, but it's also like you're looking inside a lot. But I'll show you the original picture and my idea for it. This is the picture. This is just what it looks like. Oh, hello. This is what it looks like. And I'm thinking, right, I'll get these Q-tips and then I've got, it, okay, I've got all my paints here. And then I like do the dots for like all of this, supposedly, and then this as well. And then maybe if I paint this or if I just leave it, I don't know what else I've got to do. But guys, I'm currently walking to my like job. Honestly, I was so scared when I first went in, but it actually wasn't that bad, so. <laughs> crooked it's crooked isn't it in honor of it being results day tomorrow i'm gonna do a little prediction of my grades i've seen people do this and it's like what they want to get the worst thing that they could get and then like what they got in mocks starting off english language what i want to get i want to get a seven the worst thing i could get is probably a six and what i got in my mocks was a seven literature Honestly, I want to get a six. The worst thing I could get is a five. What I got in my mocks was a six. Honestly, I'm happy with everything I got in my mocks. Maths, I want to get, I'll be being realistic though. I want to get a five, but I'm kind of feeling like I could possibly get a six, but I'm not gonna like feel like, no. The worst thing I could get is a four. And what I got in my mocks was a five. Science. I want to get 7-7. Seven, seven. The worst I could get is a 6-6. Six, six. What I got in my mocks, we only did paper 2. But, wait, paper 1 I got a 6-6. Six, six. Paper 2 I got an 8-8. Eight, eight, one off an 8-9. So that's why I'm kind of going for a 7-7. Seven, seven. RE, what I want is a 9. The worst thing I could get is an 8. In my mocks, I got a 9. Art, I want a 6. Well, no, I want a 7, but I don't know if a 7 is kind of like unachievable. The best I could get is a 5. What I got in my marks was a 6. Health and social, oh gosh. <laughs> Health and social I think could be my worst, like personally. What I want is honestly a merit to. The worst I could get 
is a pass to what I've got in my mocks. See, through my coursework, like all my coursework is a Distinction Star 2. And then I did a mock, which was like the written test and I got a merit too. So, and I feel like, honestly, I feel like my coursework's gonna like help me over here because honestly, the paper did actually not go that well. That's what I'm thinking merit too. Geography, seven, I'd one. Worst would be a six, but honestly, I'd be happy with a six, I think. In my mocks, Again, we didn't do all three papers, so paper one I got a six, paper two I got a seven, paper three I got a six, I was one mark off a seven. I can't believe results day is tomorrow. Like, if I think about it, I feel nervous, but if I don't think about it, I'm fine. That's my predictions. Wish me luck. I will see you tomorrow to see if my life is ruined. I don't think it will be. I think most of the papers went okay, if not good. Anyway, bye guys, see you tomorrow for the real thing. Hey guys, it's results day! Stop, why am I like getting my heart beating talking about the fact that it's results day? I've got my results in this envelope. I've already opened them. Basically, I went to school, you know, waited for my friends, went there, and then we we're all kind of awkwardly standing with our results like, just in silence kind of like oh should do we open them or and then one of my friends started opening them and then the rest started opening them and I was like okay I'm gonna open them let's talk about let's talk about what I got right I've seen a lot of people being really happy with what they've got I've seen people who aren't happy with what they've got but I'm pretty happy with my results okay so starting off Health and social. Now, as I said, the mock did not go very well. I thought I was gonna get a merit too. I got a distinction star too. I'm so happy because I thought I was screwed, basically. But I, okay, I got it. Combined science, I got a six five. A six five. Apparently I was three marks off a six six. But it's the fact that I thought I was going to get a 7-7 seven, seven and I got a 6-5. That's bad. Like, I'm not happy with that, basically. Geography, I got a 7. I'm happy with that. Maths, I got a 6. <laughs> Miracles do happen. Miracles do happen. I got a 6, guys. I got a 6. I never thought this day would happen. And when I was texting my friends, all of them saw my results and I was like, oh my gosh, you got a 6 in maths. Like, I know you struggle with that. Like, I'm so proud of you and happy. And I'm like, thank you. I'm so happy with myself. English language, I got a seven. Literature, I got a seven. My teacher was so nice. She was like, you worked really hard. Like, are you happy? And I'm like, yes, thank you. RE, I got a seven. Should I just replay when I said I was expecting a nine? RE, what I want is a nine. In my mocks, I got a nine. <sighs> a seven. Like, oh, that's so bad. Like, that is so bad. Like, that I'm really upset about that. Art and design, fine art, a five. That's, I'm also a little bit upset about that. Like, I was on the border of a five or a six and I was three marks away from a six. I feel like I should have asked my teacher about getting it remarked. I'm happy with those. The only ones I'm not happy with is combined science, RE, and then find out. But my teacher, my science teacher, like when I went to ask him how many off I was, he was like, he was really shocked. So he was like, I thought you were gonna get better than that as well, basically. I just wanna say thank you to anybody who wished me good luck for results day and anyone who made me feel better about my results. I hope everybody has gotten what they wanted and is happy with what they've got and you know that you were worth more than your grades and what you get.
Thank you so much for watching today's video and I hope you have a pleasant one. Bye!